Hey guys, I'm here. Hey Ryan, let's play. Sorry about me being shirtless. I just got out of the shower. So I figured, uh, since I have my capture card all set up and I'm recording videos, that I would show how my TV systems computer are all set up. That way those of you who also have the same capture card I do can end up setting up their own and then you guys can start recording video games. So I figured I'd do that. First off, the uh, capture card is a, sorry about the light, I'll cover that, Diamond uh, VC500. Costs about $40 online. Comes with, after I'm, uh, without these, it comes with three female ports, white, yellow, and uh, red. And then the other side of it connects into the computer via USB. Uh, then after you download the uh, software and stuff, it comes up on your computer as Easy Grabber. So that's where you click, and that is where you get the screen here, which will show your video, and then the uh, thing that you can use to record uh, your video and stuff, and also what folder it goes in. So that's the capture card and the stuff that it used. I'm going to use my uh, PS2 as the example. So what you want to do is have one of these. It is a uh, RCA cable with uh, two male ends. So it's got the uh, pointy ends on each side. And so you're going to want to take one of those ends, plug it into the capture card. So one of the ends, plug it into the capture card. And then the other ends go into splitters that I have. The splitters are this, which were really cheap. Bought them at Radio Shack for like five fifty each. They are really cheap. Your uh, capture card goes in here on this end. And then on this end, you get the uh, two output sources that you want. So it would be gain system and TV. So again, capture card on the one end, and then on the dual end it is uh, system and TV. So that is what I have here. Oops, script. Oh, no, 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 I'm wrong. Ah, I made a mistake. Where does this one go? Sorry, I made a mistake with that. Capture card and TV on the dual end system on the single end. So scratch what I said before. It's system and then capture card and TV. So that's what we have here. Coming all the way from the capture card, we follow it and we have them plugged in up here. So those two here, stupid red cable. This one and that one, that's the capture card. These You're going to want another uh, one of these dual males, and that will go from the splitter into the TV. So one of these whites and one of these yellows go into the TV. Then down here, the yellow and white are from the PS2. So if we followed this one, it leads us over to the PS2. Then I recommend getting three of these because of the red cables. If your TV has red audio cap or red audio slot, you're going to want a third one of these because then you will have the red audios hooked up instead of having them dangled. So after all of it's set up, so either two or three splitters depending on your TV, having capture card and TV up here and having system down here, you turn on the system and the TV, obviously. So, wait a second for it. As you hopefully can see soon, it's showing up on the TV. And then, also over here, earlier the screen was blue. And hopefully, I can get a picture. The game is showing on the TV 
and on the computer screen. So you can watch the game, you play the game here, while your computer records the game. And then there's the deal with sound. I actually have some speakers plugged into my computer. So you don't hear any sound right now, because if I turn this up, you can hear sound from the TV, but I can have this all the way down where no sound will come. Turn on the speakers, and the sound will come out of there. Which, this will give a lot better sound for when I'm making the videos. And if you can get yourself some videos, or some speakers, like really cheap ones, to give yourself better sound, it will make your videos better, I feel. So, again, you're going to want the capture card, which costs about $40. You're going to want at least two of these, the dual and males RCA cables. You're going to want either two or three adapters, or two or three splitters, which costs about five fifty each, so about seventeen bucks total for this. So that's fifty seven here, and then however much these may cost you. The RCA cable comes with one of these, so you really only need to get one more. And that may cost you five to ten bucks. So in reality it may cost you about seventy dollars. But this little device is wonderful. I've already made like five videos with it. You can either start recording by pressing that button there or there's record right here and then stop right there. So for recording on here you just press the button and then the red light will show up. As you can see the red light is flashing which means it's recording and then press it again and it stops the recording. So yeah, I thought I would just show you guys the uh, the setup that I have for this. It's pretty simple. The only problem with it is if I need to switch from my PS2 to my Wii or to my N64 or to my Xbox. That's really the only problem with it is having to unplug something to plug something else back in. You don't have to worry about trying to get it through a DVD, VCR player or anything about that. Cheap splitters, about 6 bucks each at Radio Shack with the uh, capture device. Really simple. You get the video on both screens, and that's really the important part. The videos, unless you do S-Video, will not come out that great. You'll be able to see what's going on. They might be like 360p, but with S-Video you can get like 720p or something. So if you want to invest in the s in the S videos and you're going to want to do that. So I hope you guys have, in, have found how I set up my stuff helpful. Hopefully it can help you guys set up your stuff and make you guys play some video games and get them on YouTube. So I thank you guys for watching and hopefully soon I'll be starting my seven video games a week uh, playthroughs. So thanks for watching guys. Click that like and subscribe button if I helped you out.